Welcome back and thank you very much. We're celebrating Ghana Month and if you uh, perchance are stepping out today and wearing anything Ghanaian, which I strongly recommend that you do, uh, please take a photo and share on our social media pages. The hashtag is we celebrate GH and in this full month of March, we're going to ensure that we'll guide you where to find pleasurable places to visit, uh, some sumptuous Ghanaian meals to enjoy, places you have to see, uh, what you have to wear will direct you to places where you can get the best of Ghanaian clothing to wear. We recommend GTP and Wudin to you because it's a wholly made Ghanaian uh, business and so many others that will come up. Uh, make sure you're drinking your palm wine, your sobolo, your, uh, all the local ones and, and then you will, you will be sure that you're promoting Ghana and putting money in the pocket of Ghanaians. The Daily Graphic this morning says that December 7 remains Paul's Day. EC confirms and Unipass takes off at entry points, but freight forwarders criticize move. Kumasi prepares for independence celebration. Church of Pentecost launches the national sanitation campaign. A clean city agenda uh, is still on. The Daily Guide. NDC flees from coronavirus politics. A Futu MP makes case for fishermen. PPA bounces Auditor General. Police robber arrested. Government suspends or spends 2 billion Ghana cities on free SHS annually. And Sogakope Assemblyman shot dead. The Finder newspaper. Universal health coverage in five years. President Ekufuado sets ambitious targets. Importers directed to clear goods through Unipass. Free fire extinguishers for homes locked up at warehouse. And government updates Ghanaians on adequate preparedness towards the coronavirus disease as of 25th February. The BNFT, importers unhappy over government's untested uni, uh, Unipass directive. Coronavirus, airport staff shy away from passengers from affected countries. Call for changes at the airport to reflect preparedness. Want more resources and health professionals. Surviving banks must contribute to sectors cleanup costs. That's what a financial expert has proposed. The Ghanaian Times, withdraw untested Unipass directive, give appeals to government. West African countries urge to establish power market and shoot, kill assemblyman, gunmen run amok. Son escapes with wounds, wife tortured. She went unconscious, but we're told that she is responding to treatment at the moment. Adequate preparedness against COVID-19. Ghana needs 35 million Ghana cities to combat disease, according to the World Health Organization that has ranked our preparedness 30%. Policeman in trouble for allegedly leading robbery gang. My guest this morning, and before that, we'd like to uh, push for you to send your messages ahead. 020 be part of the conversation and let's have a national discourse. My guest this morning is the Honourable Member of Parliament for the San Arugu constituency all the way up north, uh, Alaji ABA Fuseni, and also Deputy Minister for Information, Pius and I'm Hajide. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, John. How's the weekend? Ah, my brother. It was fine. Time to survive. <laughs> survive what? Oh, Masa. And I'm Hajide, my... my my colleague here in the mm. affairs of state, you know, things are not going well. So, obviously, it's a struggle, daily struggle by Ghanaians. Okay. Make ends meet. I hear you. Pius, how are you? How's the weekend? Well, I'm good. Uh, we are grateful for, to God for his continued mercies. Mm. Uh, as a people, uh, we continue to be optimistic. We are not uh, pessimistic. Uh, uh, naysayers who see no positive. Mm -hmm. We are quite sure that the country has been lifted of the doldrums that we were in a couple of years back. Mm. Just recently, uh, Johnny, by this time, you would have been powering your uh, generator sets uh, with diesel, hard, mm. both with heart and money, to be able to have this program live on air because mm. there was uh, what you call proper doom so. There was mm. doom so. Mm. Uh, again, a couple of years ago, Ghanaian parents mm. would have been struggling to pay the fees of their wards in secondary school. Mm -hmm. Those challenges have been resolved. A couple of years ago, over 100,000 young unemployed graduates were on the streets mm -hmm. and forming a so-called Association of Unemployed Graduates. Mm -hmm. Today, they are at work under NAPCO and all the several other interventions and recruitments that have been made. Okay. And I can go on. So we see 
a lot of progress being made mm. uh, and we do so uh, with an honest admonition and mm. a, an admission that we have not come completely out of the woods yet. Mm. There's still some work to do. But of course, the challenges that we were confronted, mm. nobody expects that within four years or three years, uh, two months, mm. all of the challenges of Ghana were going to be resolved. But any honest observer will admit that ranging from the growth of the economy, all the indicators, to everything that one can think of, okay. Ghana has gotten only better. Mm. Uh, we have a transformational uh, uh, leader who is leading from the front and grabbing the bull by the horn. And, okay. and so we are sure that we will get there in due course. John, I you, think it's only you, fair. Uh, Alaji, you cannot that, see. That, that's that what I just says. indicate yeah, yeah, that when his mouth is full. Full of what? Food and water. Okay. So what, it, what we see about the suffering masses, where under his watch, fuel prices have gone up 28 times. Where drivers for change, which campaign for the MPP, today they are devastated. <laughs> they are out of job. They cannot even go and earn one city and go and feed their, their, their wives and families. What do they do now? I'm saying that they are devastated. They, are, they, are, they have lost their jobs. Okay. A lot of them go to sit down. They can't even work and get even the fuel that they, they buy. 28 times under their watch. From 14 Ghana cities to now almost getting to 26 Ghana cities. Your lights cities. are on. Your children are okay. in school. President well, Mahama solved the Dunsop problem. Find out. Even the, <laughs> the, the, the vice president mm. said we should not praise President Mahama for solving the problem because the NDC brought it. <laughs> so today, no, he didn't. Like, like the president himself falsely claims in the state of the nation address, mm. many false claims. Look at the state of agriculture that the planting for food is so successful that we have not imported uh, uh, greens. Ghana is even owing. We have even gone to credit cereals. Today, Ghana is a laughing stock. In the eyes of the international community, that you can even credit Miss uh, Bis Sogum and can pay. We took 2,650 metric, 2,750 metric tons of cereals, borrowed, crediting Miss. It's shameful under the watch of this government. Look so, at the so level of no, nothing has look at the level of corruption. Today, it's not a naked tiffery. You can't believe what is going on. Never in the annals of our by, country's by history who? have we sunk under. Members of this government, government officials, party people, they say party here, party engaging in criminal conduct, okay. going to uh, 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 engage in galaxy right. to fund the party. It's all right. Never but in the annals of our these people have disgraced us so much, Ghanaians are in a hurry to get rid of them. <laughs> oh, they told you that. I'm telling you. Where did you hear that? But inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. By December 7, after December 7, these people will be no more. I like your smoke. We're celebrating Ghana Month. Uh, let me start with you, Pius. So this is uh, our effort here at Media General. One full month to promote everything Ghana. You know, we started with the chocolates. We're talking local foods, drinks, clothes, where to visit, and all of that. I don't know how you feel about it, but one full month to promote Ghana. What do you think? I, I think it's a very commendable uh, initiative. Mm -hmm and Media General, uh, which are several outlets, must be commended. Mm. Uh, not too long ago, I had occasion to be part of your election command right. center launch. Right. And I thought that even though that was uh, seen as public service, uh, public broadcast service mm. initiative, mm. you in the private, uh, private operator, you have taken the lead. And I thought that that was commendable. Uh, you have gone ahead to do a month long uh, promotion of Made in Ghana. Right. I think that is very laudable. Mm. Uh, this is very much in line with His Excellency the President's vision. Uh, you recall, for instance, that uh, in December of last year, mm -hmm. he made a passionate appeal about consumption of local, uh, rice. local <laughs> rice. And we have seen uh, the, 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 if you may, unprecedented attraction and mm. attention mm. that people have paid uh, to that call. Are the agencies and, really buying the local rights? Well, they use? are. They, they, they yeah. are. In my, in my, in my ministry, mm. for instance, uh, I know that there is a policy that uh, whenever we engage mm. uh, in uh, issues that have to deal with refreshment okay. and, and has to involve food, mm our first priority, our first call is okay. to ensure that we <laughs> procure made in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And so that is very, very uh, commendable. Okay. And I think that 
uh, not just TV3. I've mm -hmm. noticed that uh, this is a growing trend. Uh, just a couple of days ago, I was at GBC. Mm -hmm. They also launched their Heritage uh, Month. Mm -hmm. I think it is good. I know that a sister station mm -hmm. is also doing mm -hmm. the Heritage Caravan right, across the country. Right. I think that the concerted, uh, collaborated support mm -hmm. that the vision of His Excellency is enjoying from the media is a testament of the media's uh, uh, confidence mm. uh, in in the leadership of his How should Ghanaians embrace and, this? Because we keep talking about it, but the appetite for imported stuff is still quite high. Uh, well, we, 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 we will have to continue with the promotion and education. Mm. Uh, we have we have been forced to acquire a certain taste over a certain uh, a certain number of years. Mm. Uh, it will take some time to break that chain okay. and we can only continue. Mm. We can get there, mm. but it takes deliberate and concerted effort. And that's mm. why I'm happy that we have policies that are aimed at import substitution. Mm. For instance, the one district, one factory. Today, we are producing uh, eco juice in Ekufi. Mm. A few years ago, we were importing all the the, uh, the, the pineapple fruit juice. Majority of the, or, I mean, we were importing from, from outside. Mm. Today, there are several factories. You go to Gomua, there is Casa de Ropa uh, that is using sweet potato to produce uh, all kinds of pastries uh, uh, and so on. And these are things that, if we had started a few years back, mm. we would not be talking about 181 factories at different stages of completion. In fact, those that are operational, over <laughs> 50 factories. Mm. If every three years, previous governments had been giving us factories, mm. small scale, medium, large scale, every three years they had been giving us at least 50 factories. Mm. Today, we would not have been where we These are. These 50 and factories so, are, are new from scratch. Largely. Because the, co the, co the conversation on the streets is that some of them are old factories that have been rebranded. No, some of them. Uh, that's allow, allow that, me, that's not correct. Allow me. And it is not. It is not. Mm. Uh, it's not the empty rant. Mm. And I've moved away from the mm. from the empty rant. I just spoke to you about Eco Juice, right. brand new from mm. scratch. Mm. I spoke to you about Casa de Ropa, right. brand new from scratch. Mm. I'm going to speak to you about Brompton within the prisons of the Insawan prison, okay. brand new from scratch. Long lo lots of them, largely. In fact, we are talking about the 181. Okay. Those include some uh, very old uh, factories that okay. were dying, okay. that have been given a new breath of life okay. under the one district like the Ghana factory. Estates, and, 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 and that's commendable <laughs> because the Ghana Rabai Estates was collapsed, was dying. Mm. So if you give that kind of company a new breath of life, able to employ people now, expand the operations, it is proper that you can, you can capture that as an achievement. If mm. that is not an achievement, mm. then I do not know what an achievement is. In any case, look, there are all the indicators. And mm. uh, Johnny. M Mrs. Pio Johnny, Gabra, for example, said that when they were in government, they also gave support to factories, and to that. and they didn't they didn't go labeling because they them did not as... have a they did not have a policy, okay. they did not have a plan. Okay, it is a different thing when you're in government and one or two factories come to you okay. and ask for help and you give. Right. You cannot state that because it doesn't flow out of a coordinated mm. long term strategy and plan mm. that you have. If you have a long term strategy and plan, the first thing you do mm. is to market that for acceptability for understanding. Mm. If uh, companies, for instance, do not know that there is pos there is the opportunity to 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 benefit from support, mm -hmm. and the media is not told. How would uh, companies know and assess? Or you call a few family and friends, people people you are connected with. You call them quietly and give them support. If the people of Ghana are not told mm -hmm. that there is that opportunity, how would people know? So it is because there was no long term plan. There was mm -hmm. no strategy mm -hmm. that is aimed at import substitution. That was aimed at lifting Ghana out of the doldrums. But these were knee-jerk, isolated, uh, 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 reactionary uh, interventions that was made by a government. They were unable to uh, uh, advocate uh, for, for these things as an achievement. Okay. And again, <clears throat> Johnny, lastly, right. you see, I would, I, would, I would plead with my senior colleague. He's a mm -hmm. member of parliament. Mm -hmm. And that's the House of Records. And I would right. think that uh, for, 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 for deputy ministers like myself and for mm -hmm. members of parliament, we should move away from the propagandist rants and deal with the, the critical and vexed matters. Mm -hmm. You recall how much petrol was selling when the NDC took over and where they took it to? Mm -hmm. You recall today, Johnny, it has never happened in the history of this country mm -hmm. that the prices of utility have come down. It's never happened. Where's it the, has never happened. It only happened under this administration. The only times that we haven't seen fuel pri utility prices increase mm. under the NDC have been two times within elections year, 2012 and 2016. Mm. Zero incre increment. 
within that range, every year there were increases. In 2017, when we took over, there was no increase. Mm. In 2018, in fact, there was a reduction. First time in our country's history. And then subsequently. And then in 2019, increase. there was a marginal increase. But if you net it, there's a cum cumulatively, the effect is a reduction. Okay. Because if you reduce by 20 something and you increase by around 10%, if you net it, then the effect is a reduction. Okay. It has never happened before. Okay. And so this talk about uh, uh, truck truck drivers uh, mm -hmm. losing their jobs, it's neither here nor there. Today, in fact, Goyle just announced a few days ago a reduction of, in fuel prices. Go of, of what? Uh, what? What is the reduction? Okay. You have heard. Tell, what oh, is the reduction? tell me what the reduction is. You, you haven't have heard. heard. I, don't, I have no head. Tell oh, me what the reduction I just told you. I said, what is the reduction? Tell me the quantum of the reduction. What is well, the reduction? Well, I, I will have to check See, for you. I'll have it's to infinitesimal. Oh. It's, it's, oh. it's ir irrelevant. <laughs> but Johnny, he's trying to collect the, his the thoughts. The NDC is developing he's, a pension he's, to, he's, 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 using big words he's, on this He's platform. trying to collect <laughs> his thoughts in the open after a heavy downpour. It's a futile effort. All is gone. It's been washed away. Yes. Futile. When the cumulative effect of your drastic draconian policies result in such uh, phenomenal increases in fuel prices. You can look Ghanaians in the face. When you promise them when you come, mm -hmm. the 14 CDs was already too high. You will bring the fuel prices down and you turn it to 25, 26 CDs. Because not you cannot render an apology to Ghanaians. You sit here, yes, you sit here today, but you sit here today, but you and tell it was 40 CDs. No, it was not. Johnny, you said it wasn't 40 CDs. You were saying we are taking many forces. I can't quite listen to you. Why is he spoke? So we are telling a lot of forces. I listen to you. But it is our job as media to inform, to educate. If they have nothing for you, if you have nothing for your in law. You cannot give your in-law something. Don't oh, no, go and steal from your in-law. This proverb. Okay? Mm -hmm. If you cannot do anything for Ghanaians, and you inflict such monumental hardships on them, the least you can do is to apologize to them. Let's talk about the factories. So, so, so Johnny, you see, the least said about this, they are one district one. It's a laughing stock. You didn't have a policy, did We you? brought the minister, even minister for, 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 for trade mm -hmm. and industry, Honorable Alan Chiamanti, to parliament. And he had to confess that they have not set up new factories. No, come on. I just okay. mentioned new factories. Well, I am, I'm just indicating to you. When, when, did he, <laughs> when did he do this confession? Oh, he, he, he's, he's appeared in parliament a number of times last year. Okay. And some part in 2018. But it could use a lot of working. The, I am just, you wait, you were interrogated and you see that it's a hoax. They simply wow. just go and put I, a sign board. I drank Echo Juice. <laughs> I said that Echo Juice, Echo Juice is produced. In fact, they, they were producing before they even came there. Oh my God. The, fa the, 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 <laughs> the, the, the place that they, they indicated, they, 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 were, they, were, they were setting up the factory. Is there a place where you are talking about this movement? But I'm indicating to you, go and integrate, interrogate the 100 into one they are talking about. Okay. The overwhelming majority of them are companies that existed before, long before the MPP even came to power. Like you are talking about Bonsa Thai, right. uh, a Chinese, even in my conscience, a Chinese who had been operating uh, a, a motor king factory there for all those years, was labeled one, this is one factory. So it's nothing to write home about. Mm. But let me say that this government does not have an iota of commitment. Why do you say that? To, to, to ensure that this Ghana thing they are talking about, they are speaking with their uh, uh, double speak. Why do you say their that? Their mouth is full of water, they are going to recant the fire. It won't work. Because there's no commitment. I, I, Jordan, I'm just indicating to you that this is a government that has enunciated a policy of uh, uh, Ghana beyond it. Mm. This is the government that has depended on it more than any other government in the history of this country. This is a government that has borrowed more recklessly than the than Ga Ghana a, 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 beyond aid doesn't mean we shouldn't. So if you are talking about beyond aid and, and your, your record of borrowing is worse than any other government, what are you doing to yourself? <laughs> you see that they have the the record. And I'm and I'm and I'm and I'm and I'm going to indicate to you. I'm just I'm just in the process of indicating to you, Johnny, that under their watch, under President Mahama, when you talked about revamping and, and buying made in Ghana goods and empowering the Ghanaian uh, entrepreneur, mm. it was it was given real meaning. I'm sure you can recall the Tobinkos, the NS chemists, mm. and all those other. They were empowered. Indeed, they have become not net employers in this country, but they are net exporters mm. and earning very valuable foreign exchange in large countries for Ghana. Today, the NDC did not make any noise about that. Okay? Under their watch, under the so-called uh, 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 empowering the Ghanaian and ensuring that made in Ghana goods, mm. go and see when, when, when they throw parties. When they are, they, are, they, are, they are organizing the service, foreign goods, more than 90, 95 percent. Okay? Is that not why the under their watch, directive that Johnny, under their watch, local I'm, 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 says I'm, I'm saying that even the president who gave the directive, when they do it at the, at the, right at his doorstep, flapped up house, 
go and see the goods that does parliament eat local rice i'm just indicating you the jollof you guys ate at the soda the jollof the majority ate the minority never ate anything let's make that clear but beyond even the statement was attributed to uh, the majority leader, he right. categorically denied that he never said such a thing. Okay. So we'll let that matter die. Right. But, but I'm saying that under their watch, let me first make uh, uh, okay. uh, uh, President Mahama's Qu record clear. Qu quickly, under President Mahama, mm. rice imports reduced, okay, from, from much, over what? 600 million dollars to 480 under President Mahama, okay. And no, and, no, and, so and you were and, leaving. Yes, I'm telling you, go go interrogate the record. Under the MPP, and what would have rice imports have Ghanaian, ballooned. Ghanaian rice imports have, rice. Imports have I mean, ballooned to 1.3 billion. It's a matter of record. Go to but, the Minister of Trade Reports. But the figures you are okay, putting, so you cannot. I, I know 1.3 billion now. Yes, I, I'm but quite, I'm just indicating. I'm quite doubtful of, okay. of your figures. Find any figure and put it there. It will not be up to 1.3 <laughs> billion. When the MPP <laughs> came, okay. Now under there, it has ballooned to 1.3 billion. Mm. So how can you be uh, uh, encouraging the consumption of local rice? And the imports are even souring, even higher than, than before. It, 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 it just doesn't gel. The no. directive was made just last and, December. And I'm just so, indicating so to you. So you are hoping why? that it will take... So, so where is the vision of the government? When the government came no. to power, it had no vision that it had to work Rambu to ensure that domestic oh, okay. rice consumption was Rambu not... has lost uh, it completely. Uh, 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 encourage. Okay. Is that what you are saying? John, and I'm saying that this is underpinned by not just your policy, but your commitment. Okay. And that's why I'm saying that the MPP, they signal right, uh, right and turn left. Because clearly, they don't have any iota of commitment to the things that they say they'll do for the good people of this country. They are only interested in what they can do and put money in, their, in the pockets of their party people and, 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 and their appointees. Honorable, let's do Just as it's happening. Don't do and and, this, and, and, uh, and I, I want to indicate to you today mm. that it's abundantly clear to Ghanaians that this government is hopelessly uninspiring. And you can see from the, 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 the policy and the implementation of the policy that they say they are doing, that they are not doing ex a a anything. The children, to a a the children who are enjoying free SHS will not be happy with you this morning. Uh, the farmers who are getting fertilizers, Johnny, a great extension officers Johnny, have been posted. Just like, just the nurses, like, the teachers, just like, yes, they will not be I happy think all of you. us accept that free senior high school in, as a concept mm. is good. All of us have accepted it. No, but look no. at the symbolic manner. No, no, <laughs> look at the symbolic manner in that. Go and speak to parents. Which of them is happy about double track? Johnny, I don't know whether you have a, a, a word. Okay, my you go to school for three weeks school, yes. and come home for three and a half months. Which president is, 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 is happy about that situation? We have diluted uh, senior high, the quality of education at that level. Okay. Johnny, look at the, 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 the problems that uh, uh, parents go through. You have to go and uh, 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 hire the services of a teacher to teach your child for the three and a half months that you'll be in the house. How much does it cost per month? Even if you take a conservative rate of uh, uh, 300, 400 Ghana cities per month. Multiply that, you get about 1,002 plus, okay? For the period that the child will stay. Look at the level of teenage pregnancies. 1,246. These were records and by... this was caused by what? <laughs> Free HHS? Free HHS. The, the, the girls who came to sit in the house. Hey. By the time they went back, they had impregnated... Johnny. You are thank you. Th th that number. Johnny. And I'm just in it. That is why President Mama has Johnny. indicated clearly. Yeah. Johnny. That when the NDC... Up, you, when I the NDC comes to power, people. not if... When the NDC comes to power on January 7th, by the grace of Allah Almighty, when President Mama assumes the reins of government on January 7th, 2021, the, one of the first acts you do is to uh, uh, abolish the double track. Okay. And President Mama will take steps. And we in the NDC, we have that record. You remember when President Kufo and the MPP uh, uh, did this uh, four-year senior high? Right. And there was a deficit of infrastructure. Mm. It took the NDC and the President Mills to come within the first year and, and deal... Uh, decisively and more efficiently with the problem. We have the track record. Okay. And I can tell you without any item. That is why they are already shivering in their boots. Thank you. When President Mama indicated that on, on, on assumption of office, thank you, you are bullying the double you track let's spend and, the, the, and, and, the and get the deficit level of infrastructure hmm. going in all the senior Johnny, high schools Johnny. so that this obnoxious thank, thank policies you. will be done. Because I give you a minute. Let's spend the rest of the time I, on I, I uh, think that, coronavirus. I think that we must elevate the discussion. To what? And, and, and deal I with think the I, serious... I, I, you must not allow the, him to the, say the, that the, because the, I, will, no. I, will, I will have to back what he's saying. That's fine. But I'm entitled to my opinion. But when you say elevate the conversation... And I am entitled to my opinion as well. Okay? For instance, when you make the point that, oh, uh, this is a, a, a government that wants to make, they do things to make money for their pockets, and you should go to the Jubilee House and see they are cooking uh, foreign rice there. You don't offer us proof. That's, that's a fact. Not, that's not credible. That's, that's a fact. That's not I credible. I, 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 I don't expect you to say it. No, like that's not credible like narrative. Mm. Because you, it's, not, it's, 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 a, it's a rant. It's, it's a propagandist. It's, it's not never true. true. It's not true. 
and the member of parliament should be able to uh, uh, speak beyond just mere propaganda. He party now, Jessica now, in the, in the now, now, party now, video. Now, well, I'm saying that, but what we were discussing. That was an unnecessary introduction. Okay. Not you unnecessary. Need, I will deal I'm with giving it. you evidence of it. all that. I will deal with it. I will deal with it. I will deal with it. Okay. In the first place, I want to be systematic. We okay. speak about rice production, and he says that rice dropped from a certain 600 to 4, 480. He fails to give us what intervention the government of the NDC put in place to to fill that gap. Mm. Is it the case that there was a, a, a ramp up of local production, which mm. you and I know is not true? Mm. It's not true our local capacity under the NDC reduced. Not, and it is documented. It's not true. So you cannot tell me, unless you're saying that Ghanaian stopped eating rice, no, you cannot Avnash, tell me. Avnash buying just the I, rice I, want to, I want to indicate to him, I've just did that no, so, 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 that intervention. But that's, uh, it's exactly. not true. No, please. It's not true. Allah, it Allah, is very Allah. much true. It is very much. What we are doing today mm. to actually help grow the industry is that today government is making importers of rice to deal with some of the local rice production mm. at least a certain percentage if you are not able to provide that or, or use local rice to mm. a certain percent the minister of agriculture who has a mandate does not even give you license to import rice okay. that is systematic approach okay. to increasing our capacity i, I, I think we, so, we, we need to no, move on yes you have given him the opportunity no, 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 a lot a lot of things have been said Johnny, you have to and, and i think that we should you see no, no but we can't spend look the people of ghana are looking at how we can prevent ourselves from coronavirus. That's why I want us to spend... Johnny, is it not a contradiction? But, but, that when you but, claim but like that, that, that you have successful policies I, I of, of uh, 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 empowering the Ghanaians uh, to produce and you eat uh, made in Ghana rice, rice imports are bad money, to 1.3 billion. It's a contradiction. It just tells you that they are lying. Okay, thank you. They are lying Johnny, to Ghanaians. Johnny, you. Johnny, Johnny, it is you a see, matter and, and, of and common it knowledge. It is very clear that it under President Mahama, of common the Avnashis and others were empowered that to, to, to that absorb that domestic production. That was of local you production and, and, you, see, and, and you see that so if, if the local, the local, local rice uh, 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 millers were given the if uh, i if i buy local rice that's not correct it's never true and that is why the absorption of not, local rice is never never, was it, greater than it, what they are it is rice, never true. Watch. it is not true it's nobody true. johnny don't get under their watch you are importing rice even more than ever before in the history of no how that when we are talking about local rights in this country today, mm -hmm. the situation is far better than what's under the West. Okay, it's far zero better. Zero. And much of the local two rice one, producers are six, there. They can't buy their rice. Three three. They, 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 they can't buy their rice. Six, six, there was not under our watch. There was no rice. Under our watch, there was no rice. We incentivized them, and they were able to buy rice. Under you, they were able to buy rice. Under you, there was no rice. They were able to buy rice. There was no rice. We produced. There was no rice. And they were able to buy. Under your incompetence. Since I've done COVID, please. Control. 19, the World Health Organization has said 35 million is all we need. In assessment, in an assessment report released on Friday, the WHO noted that in spite of 2.5 million Ghana cities allocation by government towards preparedness for uh, any eventuality, the amount was insufficient. The organization identified funding gaps in areas of capacity building and surveillance, risk, communication, laboratory equipment, and logistics in tackling a possible outbreak. It thus urged government to allocate more funds to implement various preparedness activities. And I'll come to you, Pius, on this one. Are we ready for coronavirus? Nigeria has reported its first case. <coughs> Egypt is there. And we are worried. Are we ready, really, for it in terms of the advice that WHO is giving us, uh, give us more money? And mm -hmm. I run a simple calculation. 2.5 million divided by some 29.6 million. And you would get less than a CD for every citizen. A mask that we need for coronavirus, for example, costs about five, six dollars. So I think well, that's why the WHO is... is well, we are, we, are, we are getting ready. The, 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 the challenge with your calculation is as though all 29 million Ghanaians were going to uh, contract the coronavirus disease. Mm -hmm. we, we, we are getting ready. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we are but a developing country. But Johnny, before I get to that, is it not... Let, let's is not it go, not, let's is not it, go but back. Is it not, is it not laughable? Mm -hmm that the suggestion can be made that teenage pregnancy can be, let, let's, can be linked let's, let's to it. Let's, let's, let's not go back. Let's not go back. No, no, let's, is it not laughable let's, let's not go back. that kids who, let, were, talk kids about who are now in school? I will, I will, I will, I will, I will get, I will get back to you. I know how to manage my time. I know how to manage my time. Don't worry. I'll deal okay. with coronavirus and deal with it. But it's laughable that any serious person will tell me that kids who were at home had no opportunity of education. 
Now you are giving them education. Mm. Albeit with the double track system. Their tendency to get pregnant is rather heightened when they are in school. For even with they the double track. School. When they are home, I mean, I'm sure they are not in school, they are going to be at home for all of the years. Okay. In that case, they don't get okay. pregnant. Okay. It doesn't, okay. it, 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 it doesn't let's, connect. Let's, let's talk. It doesn't even it connect. Doesn't, let's let's talk. That's why I say that we must isolate the serious discussions from propaganda uh, uh, rants. Because this thing cannot connect to anybody who wants to think hard and deep about it. Let's talk Now, 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 we, coronavirus. Yeah. I think that we are preparing. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, last Friday, the Ministry of Health issued uh, a statement that itemizes uh, our uh, state of readiness at this point. Mm -hmm. At this point, uh, we are focusing on uh, detection and education. Mm -hmm. And uh, Johnny, I would also crave the indulgence and assistance of the media to increase education on our own uh, public health and hygiene mm. uh, practices. We need to wash our hands a little more frequently mm. and, and we know our culture, we handshake, we hug and mm. all of those. Mm. But just uh, like we did the, with the Ebola, around that time we took uh, some of these cultural practices, mm. uh, we relaxed them a little, if we can do the same. Right now, if you go to the airport, mm. uh, all arrivals are being uh, tested. Okay. Uh, their temperature, I've been there myself mm. to mm. check with the, the, the person responsible for uh, disease control, one mm. Dr. Bequen, I went yeah, yeah. to the, to the, to the airport yeah. myself with him to mm. check. We have increased the level of uh, health personnel there. Mm. Uh, now senior nurses and doctors mm. are on location doing the checking. So, so why is the BNFT reporting that the airport staff are shying away from passengers and from affected countries? Well, I, I, we will interrogate that, but I'm talking to you. But just last Friday, I was at the airport myself. Okay. People, people, are almost always optimistic about these things mm. and they, they 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 want things done in dramatic fashion mm. and so we can always take this these things on board okay. but you see the earlier reaction and mm. again some one of the newspapers have warned that the ndc should shy away from seeking it's to politicize daily, daily to politicize this their, their first advice you notice that it was not properly it was ill-conceived mm. poorly thought through and ill intentioned that we should have gone into China and evacu evacuated Ghanaians even in Wuhan and brought them to, mm. to, to, to Ghana. You check how countries like America got the, uh, got the infection uh, within their jurisdiction. Mm. And so sometimes the NDC must take time, think about these matters deeply, mm. deal with the experts, consult extensively, mm. rather than to quickly want to always jump and take advantage of these things. Mm. When this matter broke, the first thing they did was to call a press conference, let's bring the, 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 the Ghanaians, Ghanaians back. Let me also report mm. that the government is in daily contact mm. with Ghanaian students in, in China. There is a, a, a group of them, the mm. National Union of Ghana Students in China, mm. the embassy both in China and the consulates in Guangzhou mm. are in constant touch okay. with these Ghanaian students. Mm. Government has made Money's available for their personal upkeep. But they say they can't and use their money because <laughs> what are they going to buy? Because, with because There's a lockdown. Be, be, there is a lockdown. Because that's the situation. So, so what? Whenever they get the opportunity, I have spoken to some Ghanaian students myself. What they do is that there are people who are designated to do purchases for them. Mm. So you are not allowed to go out, but there are there are officers. Of, of China, the Chinese mm -hmm. authority mm -hmm. have sent out persons, if you want to go and buy something, you can give them the money, they go do the shopping and bring it to you. If they need money, government is providing okay. those monies. We have assurances from the Chinese authority mm -hmm. that th these Ghanaians are being taken care okay. of properly. Let's come, home. Let's, let's come home. What, what do we do? And last Saturday on Key Points, Dr. Norman Ishmael of uh, East this says, look, touch wood, but if we have a lockdown right now, we are not ready. He was the same man who said, 2.5 million is a joke and the WHO has come to literally confirm that we needed more money than what is there. Dr. Bedou Sarkodie was here as well. He says presently we have just about 10,000 masks and even that is for mainline health people. As we speak, Dr. Professor Fred Binka also says that look, the education has not gone down well. So uh, we know about coronavirus, wash your hands regularly and all of that, but it's in English. Where are the chi? Where is the dagbali? Where is the event? All of that. That may fall within your purview and on your laps. Are we ready? No, like I said, we are getting ready. 
and the, domi can, the dominatrix like, says, it, I, I hear the Ghanaian authorities talking about if it comes. But the WHO says it's not about a conditionality now. It is a matter of time when it comes. Well, so it's closer. Uh, we, 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 we believe that uh, we can do everything that we can do to detect uh, properly uh, and deal with uh, this virus as it attempts to enter into our, our jurisdiction. Okay. And nonetheless, mm. as we speak now, two mm. institutions, the Tema General Hospital and the Ridge Hospital, have been prepared uh, to deal with any case of reported coronavirus. Okay. Beyond these two, five other health institutions uh, are on standby to also help, including okay. Kolebu, including the Lekma Hospital, mm. and so on. In addition to these two, that yeah. are already prepared and ready, with quarantine facilities and so on, when a case is reported today, my, my, the my, General Hospital my, my, and, my challenge, and the Ridge Hospital. And Dr. Bedou Sarkodie shocked me last uh, Saturday when he said Tema General Hospital, which is one of the designated hospitals, has only 12 beds Correct. available. Correct. And I, I thought that was woefully inadequate, don't you think? Well, we are, we are talking about dealing with... I mean, you see, countries report this thing... Uh, not in large quantities. China and did so, a, a thousand capacity. But that's where capacity. they originated from. We just, for instance, in Nigeria, we have a reported case of one, right. not 12. So with that one, you have to quarantine and deal with. But, but so, Nigeria has a better system, according no, to Professor Fred Big. No, I'm saying to you that, you're saying that the marginal has, hospital has 12, 12 beds. Yes. But I'm saying that those 12 beds should be enough to deal with that one case that would have been reported. Prof. Pro Binka, for example, says that the 12 beds should be able to work within uh, a robust system. So there's Lassa fever in Nigeria as we speak. Yes. Ebola was there, they contained it. Yes. Um, and this one as well. I mean, so if we don't have, we have quite a fragile health system and our best provision is 12, some say it's problematic. No, I'm saying that these are the 12 that are on standby to deal with any case. If that one case okay. is reported today, what mm -hmm. do we do? Okay. We will take that person to one of these two institutions, and we are just talking about uh, Tema, Tema and now. Rich. That has th th there is also reach, right. but I'm saying that in addition to these two hospitals, mm -hmm. there are other five institutions that are also on standby okay. to move to 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 to, to move in. Mm -hmm. And I think that we continue with there is at the presidential level uh, a, a committee, technical committee mm -hmm. that is headed by Dr. Insiasari, right. and they are working seriously to deal with this matter. This mm. is, the, the coronavirus is a global uh, pandemic and right. our attitude must be to deal with it with a global view. Do we have and the money ready? The WHO says give, give the health Well, there's a commitment money. that the state has shown. Mm. Of course, we can always ask for more money, more money. We do need more money. In this, like I said to you before, we are but a developing country. We cannot have all the money to do all the things that we want. So it's about prioritization. But WHO so says this is necessary now. It is. And that is why government has made a commitment of 2.5 million uh, for a start mm. to deal with all these matters. It is not the case that we should find all the 35 million and put it down there as we speak. Okay. Even countries like America, even countries like China, continue to raise money to deal with the with with, with, okay. with this disease. Okay. Let's go the to Etanam. Then I'll come to you, Alaji. Forgive me, uh, Etanam. Step right, in for me. Right, uh, right, right. A few yeah. messages coming in this morning. Good morning, TV3. Please tell Enam that we don't eat economic figures, so oh. he should spare our yes hardship everywhere of the economy. Derek Za in South from Nana Owusu OPD Asunyane. What is new and uh, so different about this current NDC party and the NDC party which lost the 2016 election? The NDC party lost power because of accusations of corruption, arrogance, self-indulgence, incompetence, and a campaign which was full of insults without any credible message. So what is the NDC doing differently now? Ghanaians must be mm -hmm. vigilant and vote massively for President Kufuado to continue with the good works from Nana Usu. Now, Prince uh, Henry writes to us from Kofoyudia. Good morning, Johnny. Honorable Pius can try to make mockery of Ghanaians that things are better when Ghanaians are now buying fuel at 25 cities, 50 pesos instead of 16 cities in 2016 when they promised to reduce the price of fuel. Ghanaians who used to get a dollar for 3 cities, 90 pesos in 2016 are now getting the same one dollar for 5 cities, 50 pesos in 2019. We'll show them the exit point come December seven this year. Johnny, the MPP man is not telling the truth concerning the reduction of utilities. In 2016 down, I paid not above 60 Ghana as a water bill, but now it's increased to 120 
uh, Ghana. I don't even want to talk about electricity. It's worse. Ricardo from a shaman. Hi, Johnny. I'm still waiting for my message to go in for my locked up money. Things are very bad. How can I suffer for someone's fever? Mm -hmm. Bonti Benjamin mm -hmm. says, Achime Bwakwa. Johnny, ABF Husseini can condemn everything good the Ebo Okufado government is doing. But the good news is that Ghanaians can feel, see, uh, see and touch the good things going on. Four more for Nana. Hashtag four more to do more. Walanyo from Akwetia says, let us get serious as a nation and should not be bragging on top of our voices, though we are under the canopy of God and uh, coronavirus will pass over us. But when cholera became rampant some few years ago, only in Accra, we couldn't handle the situation. People were sleeping on the floor because of the unavailability of beds. Medicines, uh, medicines ran out. In fact, people were stranded and frustrated. Our health facilities became overburdened. This was ordinary cholera. How can we be prepared for coronavirus? How serious are we as a country? Regards to NS Yakumi. Uh, this one says, a point of correction, my January 1, 2017, before 2015, Nanado took over as president, a gallon of fuel was 18 cities, 20 percent, not uh, 14 cities. Good morning, Johnny. It seems that it is only the MPP communicators that are not seeing how we, the ordinary Ghanaian, are suffering from hardship. We will judge them during the election from Mustafa Mohammed inside Maman Sozongo at Tayabes. Good morning, Johnny. Free education is laudable, but a child will come from school and there is no food in the house. MPP should be serious about Ghanaian and stop lying. Uma from Bimbila. Good morning, Johnny. You see, due to the lies and disappointments of the MPP and Honorable Hajide, uh, he can't even talk. He's laughing to himself. MPP never again. Tell Pius that some students are currently home because no food for them. Good morning, Haji. That'll be all for messages this okay, morning. Okay, thank you very much. And Joseph Armstrong, one of our reporters here, uh, who's been on the beat on the One D C One Factory since this, says, Johnny, what the NDC man is saying about One D One, if it's true, I interviewed the director in charge of the program, and he told me point blank that the government is not the one providing the factories, but they are only facilitating private companies to set them up. I asked him again, and he confirmed that all the factories are owned by private individuals, only a few by government, just that government supports them in speeding there up the There is not the one that up. is owned by government. The reporter sure. is completely at Look, sea. You see, okay. There is not you see, one. We Johnny, never said, Johnny, yes, we said, never why? said that this no. one D1F factories are state-owned factories. Okay. Johnny, what, all, right. all that is happening mm. is that the state is providing Johnny. the facilitation for the, for the okay. building of this. So for, your reporter, for your reporter to Johnny, say that only in a few assets. He should name one. Which in is their one district, the one district, one factory policy, they said government will build. No, it's not true. That's what we It is never true. Where are you It is never true. It is never true. It is never true. I'm telling you, your reporter is very right. Johnny, let me let me go. Let me go. I am telling you, you said you were going to be sleeping. That is why when we you are the minister. Minister for said, the I, minister for Tay had to beat a, a, a retreat. It is not that like it is not the party sector. You said otherwise, Johnny, you you what, 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 is, what is you what is the thing that you're out? President Mama under his watch had empowered private enterprises. And, 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 and giving them support. Let's talk I just gave you the Tobinkos and the, yes, the, right. the, the, the NS chemists. We're those states. So we're those states. We're those states. Millions of dollars. The government did not make noise. Because you didn't have a plan. And this miniscule thing that we are doing, you want the whole country to know what you didn't have a plan. Miniscule. You didn't have There's a plan. No commitment to what they are you doing. You didn't have a plan. So, so okay. it was a let's, 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 let's talk about this will, I'll tell you that even when the goat delivers three kids under the MPP, because they are bereft of achievement, they will inaugurate a ceremony oh, to, please. to commence. Please. You they, who, they are bereft. You who, let me go to my you point. You who inaugurated uh, 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 head pants. My brother is my head pants. Let me, let me, Your president, John Mahama. I'm just indicating went and uh, uh, Even after that they are commissioned, they were about to commission them. They are bereft of achievement. So we can wrap up. This is an interchange coming up in your constitution. I'm just coming from the government. That's what they have put there. There's, There's not a single word going on at that place. Please. Please. It's a pure deception. Really? No, please. Pure deception. The year of Johnny, I will urge you to send your, sure. your, your, your reporters. You have the correspondence. An Let him go there and take a picture. Is a, Nothing is happening at the place. There is an interchange place. happening right Nothing. here. Right here. I am telling you that uh, uh, it's a pure uh, deception. Uh, uh, you know what? There is an interchange Johnny. happening right here Johnny. in front of. Uh, it's what I said. Like, I, like, I think it's only fair that you are laughing. Yes, Johnny. Yes. Go back. Tamil people are now calling that thing. No, 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 no. I'm only calling. He brought it. Please. They just close it in the this in like a newly wet this and it's empty. A newly wet what? I'm only calling. I'm only calling. We just you close it in some nice this thing, and behind the cloak is empty. You are, you are. We know empty. you. Let's There's nothing there. We know you. It's absolutely empty. So let me let me let me let me tell this proverb. Johnny, we cannot have it all at one time. You know, you get to know whether your wife or your 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 spouse. Your wife or your husband loves mm. you more. Mm. 
when you are hit by a crisis. This coronavirus and others have shown the, 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 the empty you couldn't even deal with this government. Allow, allow him. The NDC that, couldn't that even this government with empty does not allow care about Ghana. I, I, I think it's only fair that when you are talking that talk. talk. You see, when a man you is defeated by argument, he resorts to a fight. He, he, he can't can stand the logic. Oh, I'm just indicating to you that this government doesn't care about Ghanaians. You think so? Yes. There's two point five Look, in a situation where they are busy looting and, 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 and selling excavators, they are not interested in Ghana. Is this serious discussion? I'm telling you, Johnny. Johnny, I'm just going to you. you that he's bringing in the face of excavators. You just mentioned the amount that they yeah. uh, were supposed 35 to be. Million. Even what Ghanaians can't get, even one city. When you are making preparations, you make preparations for the entire country. You are not making preparations. <laughs> and, and I was shocked that even that him that as a minister, I expected that, that, that he would have known better to suggest that, oh, the number of cases are small. When, when an epi epidemic hits, do you, can you quantify the, the numbers that are involved? So you make provision that, look, let's plan for everything. If it happens and a few are catered for, we are, we are in good state. So you don't start even from your planning process by saying that you are planning for just a few of them because the numbers are few. You have already failed. So it shows the myopic nature of this government. You were not they are not. You were not. They are listening. not even. They can't even. Johnny, they can't even. Diagnose the problem. When you're, when you're they don't even government. have a vision of the problem. When, when you were never, government, when you were, when you were talking, I was quiet. When you were talking, cholera broke. Cholera broke in 2015. When you were talking, I was quiet. Cholera. You are not allowing him to. When we were talking, I was quiet. But Johnny, you must be able. Because he can't stand the logic. You must be able to point out to the honourable member that. This when you were, play, when you were parading a lot of falsehoods, and, and we should not do you, you uh, your you were doing propaganda. All that you were doing, you were doing propaganda. This was your time. You see, and you know how to Johnny, manage your time. He's managing exactly, his time. Johnny. You see, it's very funny. These people, when they come and say R wrap up for people me. should mm. not do politics, mm. what, what does he understand by politics? Does he know politics? Politics is the authoritative allocation of values by people who hold authority. Mm. Whatever decisions you take, it's politics. You don't know that. So, so if you decide so to all, allocate only 2.5 million, it's politics. Mm -hmm. You rather decide to send the money somewhere else. Somewhere, okay? Somewhere where? Ah, they know what, where, look at the, 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 the extravagance that they are, they are living. They are, they, they, they compare their lives okay. as, as, as this to. Thank but you. Johnny, I'm just saying that mm. this coronavirus. How much do you allocate for cholera? This coronavirus that we are talking about, mm. it's a very serious matter for every nation. ABA. Okay? I'm not even going to talk How about the fact that when even Colorado. other nations decided to evacuate their citizens from, from that place. Ghana had no policy. They were completely bereft of any thinking of... The health officials said... It, we knew it, exactly it, what it was It's because... Johnny, I'm not going to about Johnny, you. Johnny, I'm not going to make my point here. You make your point. I'm not going to make my point here. I'm saying that... To prevent... To prevent... To prevent... To prevent... You have not made any... They have not made even any serious proposal. That is why they cannot do anything. And especially... Look at other nations. Johnny, they show commitment to their citizens. ABA. When they are in crisis, ABA. don't go and evacuate them. Let me this this government has no idea at all. Let's not even have a to commitment to do what we want to evacuate them. Do you see what happened? To prevent from getting don't coronavirus, do please do, not uh, do regular regular washing of your hands with soap and water. Use alcohol to rub wherever uh, available. Keep a distance of at least one step, that's one meter, from a person showing signs of fever, cough, and difficulty in breathing. Gentlemen! I am please. We are not. We are doing politics with this. We want to save the lives of people. Please keep quiet. It is his time. Keep quiet too. Please allow me to read this to the public. Come on, gentlemen. Please, please, please. Please wash your hands regularly with soap and water.